How are you, sweethearts? You look stunning. Thank you. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Natsugarelo Numalo, my mother's daughter. A proudly South African, but I am based in Finland. Oh my god, I like the sun because if you have seen in Finland, it's usually like, especially January, February, March, is the coldest minus 20, minus 30. Even the car doesn't move. So when I'm here, I'm just like, I never wanted to be this black in my life because when you take the sun, you know, you get more black. And I remember that mom usually say, no, see, you need to put some sunscreen. And I'm like, ma, when I was really, really, really South African, we never put any sunscreen. Instead, you just protect yourself on the shade. So guys, let me just start. First of all, I'm 34 years old and I have two kids. One of my child is a South African. The second child is a European because I've been in Europe for a very long time. Now, in our um, inboxes or our social media, which my social media is my mom's social media, uh, is the same. So in our social media, we have so much messages from people who says, oh, I want to move to Europe. I want a European man. I want to have a job in Europe. I want to study in Europe as well, especially in Finland, where I am. Some people just say in Europe in general. So I am here to just clarify some things, explain some things give you some tips as well and tell you also just in case you just followed us or you don't know um our background just to tell you we will see how myself ended up uh, being in finland um i don't know where to start maybe i'll just wait for mom to ask me more questions okay so maybe let's briefly tell us because some people are under the impression that you left south africa with a, a work visa mm, yes. to go to finland hence they throw these questions and they say please take me with you so how did you go to finland so I went to Finland because I met a gentleman, which is my ex-husband. I met a gentleman here in South Africa and I was working at the restaurant when I met him. So it was a struggle to go overseas uh, when we met because when I met him, I was getting paid uh, in the hand. If you are African um, and if you're not an African, you're going to you're gonna learn. But as an African, you do know that sometimes you get a job where they give you money on your hand. You go to a salon where I was working as well and you receive the money in the hand. So it was a struggle when I was applying for a visa uh, because at first me and my ex-husband, we just wanted to visit each other. I was also not ready to just pick up and go, you know. However, we tried to apply for a visa for a whole year. Sure, Appl that long. Yes, it was very long and it, it was very expensive because the uh, Finnish embassy in South Africa is only in Pretoria. Oh and I used goodness. to live in Durban, yes. So I had to uh, travel, travel by plane, sure. yes, by transportation. I had to have accommodations and stuff like that. So the first we applied, the, the biggest problem that, that made me not to get the visa, which I also want to give you a tip, make sure you do bank all your money. Even if you receive money uh, in a hand, you get paid in a hand, Please bank your money because you're going to need the bank statement. Once the embassy, any embassy, not just Finnish embassy, any embassy, once they, they will always ask you for a bank statement. Once they see, good, you don't have money, you don't have any income. Even if you have the richest, you are dating Bill Gates himself. <laughs> still. I like still, that. Yeah, still, still. You'll have a problem. Yes, you'll have a problem because it's not your money. Mm. It's your husband money. Oh, wow. Because in South Africa, it's like, if your husband is rich, okay, it's, it's okay. You know, you have someone. In Europe, every man is by himself people live by 50 50 so they cannot allow you to rely on someone else mm. and also remember you are applying for a visa not for a permit a permit is when you are applying for a job or to live in a country so you are applying for a visa you need to have money that if you die for an example they know that okay you can go back home if maybe you go there and then you have some problem you can look after yourself so. financially if you fight with your bill gates because he's rich right if you fight with him and he decides not to finance you can you finance yourself you know so you need to have a bank statement so with that said i would say if you just have a job where you are getting two thousand rand or one hundred dollars you're not gonna qualify to go overseas because they don't want sure. people to stay there they don't want to support you financially they want you to come there enjoy your time and then go back home you understand yes so that's why it took there was the most thing they kept on saying they did not trust that I would go back to South Africa. Oh. They thought that I was just moving to Finland. Oh, wow. So, so thank you for that tip. So, guys, if you are unbanked, it is time for you to actually go out and open that bank account and make sure you bank everything. So even if it's a gift, put it in that bank. It yes. will help you when you apply. And then, don't say how long you've been in Finland, my baby. 
how many years you've been there i've been there this is the 12th year and it's this is may now yes, yes this is the 12th year actually it's gonna be literally 12 on october on on yeah october 1 oh went, wow yes. it's been a uh, while yeah i went 2013 october 1 sure arrived. my goodness they oh so and 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 uh what would you say before we get to how they can apply mm -hmm. what is it easy to to find a job in finland what are the challenges for those who wants to go and, and and settle in finland because people think it's as easy as with other countries what yeah. do you think would be a biggest challenge if one wants to go in and, and work in finland uh first i will continue with my story and then i go to that one when i after a year trying to apply and not getting a visa with my ex-husband we decided to get married so we went to home affairs and we got married in south africa then we used our uh marriage certificates because i know there's some people who might have a boyfriend somewhere in europe who want to go through this so we took the, the certificates marriage certificates from south africa to finland so we could register them and then i applied for permit now not for a visa mm -hmm. for a permit my, the first permit was one year then i was able to go to finland and then after this one year i applied for four years and then even now i still have the four years i'm just waiting for my permanent resident now um mama was what was question no, the, the, if someone wants to leave and go work there, what are some of the challenges? What would you say? They must, like you said, they must first have a bank account. Yes. What else they need to understand about Finland as a country? Because okay. it might be easier to go to U.S. German instead, or somewhere else. for instance, because of yeah. the language. I would say that if you, you want to go to Finland, even if you go to Germany and and you want this this job in Europe, usually European countries, they use their own language, not English. Finland is the worst one because it's only maybe like 5.5 .5 million people. And the country is so small that they have, uh, it's, it's first world class country. So they have everything, you know, they don't have the pressure that we have, uh, like in South Africa to speak English or to have this commu communicative English, I mean, language that we use like English. So if you are looking for a job in Finland, you need to speak Finnish language. A lot of people shrink and be like, ah, like Finnish language. If you're a South African, South Africans are so smart. I'm so sorry to other people, but we have 11 languages. My mom, Jay, here, I think she speaks eight of them or nine. Yes, you yes. understand? Meaning that it's much easier to adapt in another language uh, when you are not in South Africa because you're already used to speak Different other languages, languages. Yes, so, and to so. hear other languages. Mm -hmm. However, if you are working as an engineer in South Africa, you are working as a nurse, you are working, you can actually ask, it's either government or someone to find you a job overseas. Because even if you are an engineer, you speak English. If your company is uh, sending or talking to a company that is, in, that is in Finland, you can ask your boss, your manager or whoever to speak to other companies that are overseas on your behalf. Then you don't need to speak the language because you already know your position. You get there, you do your job and then you get out. And also to the nurses, it's just that a lot of people, and this is going to sound very rude, but I'm going to say it. A lot of people are lazy to use the internet. If you are a nurse, it, in Europe, there is so much nurses from Asia. Because Asians use internet a lot. And us here, people will ask me, right now, in this video, I'm 100% sure we're going to get so much messages. No, see, I'm a nurse. I want to find a job. Just go and Google nurses in Finland. How to be a nurse in Finland. How to apply for nursing in Finland easy 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 peace and i've we me and my mom have helped a lot of people to go overseas me and i always avail myself and say when you have find a place it's either a school it's either a company then you can ask me no say i have this and this and this please tell me if this is a legit yes, exactly yes, but yes. if you expect me to google for you it's not possible because i'm a chef and I'm a content creator. The industry of nursing, I just know because when I go to a hospital, I'm seeing like Ibo Black Piston, Ibo, I'm seeing Ibo American, I'm seeing Ibo the Asians. Then I'm like, okay, this country can actually uh, uh, hire a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And then now, uh, let's also, let me also explain about schools because now you do know, if you want to come to Finland, please learn, learn Finnish language. If you don't learn Finnish language, have a company, your company, talk to the company that is in Finland to move you. If you are a nurse, even if you speak English, just Google. Google, you can Google, like I'm saying, nursing in Finland, applying for a job in Finland, you're going to find. And then you can come back and ask and tell me, Guzi, no, this is what I found. No, see, I applied to this. Is it legit? They want money. Then I'll tell you if it's legit or it's not. And then if you want the schools, guys, it is a pity because, you know, there was a guy that I did find and this guy was recruiting 
kids from uh, people who wanted to study in Finland. Mm. And I will tell you, it's about 60,000. Finnish government, yes, in rent. Mm. Finnish government will provide you with a free education. I'm not sure right now. I need to check more if that is still the, the situation. Is. Yes, because you can be uh, like study for free. However, they do not finance your accommodation. They do not finance your food. So at least you need to have 60,000, which a lot of you guys, you go and apply for loans for your boyfriends, for your girlfriends. You go and take a car. The best thing you can invest on in, in your life is education. Mm -hmm. That's the best. Imagine you go and work in, I mean, study in Finland. After that, you get a job in Finland because you already studied in Finland. Then you have, boom, your, your life, just 60,000. That the last time I checked, you had to have 60,000 rands there to finance your own uh, living uh, uh, expenses. expenses, yes, mm. but not the, the, the school. The school you don't pay for. But I will, I will also check if Find it's still out. the same. Yes. Please, sister, please do to help everyone who's been inquiring. Yes, yes. And then um, also, there are some scholarship. The only thing I would say, because I know we are international, this video is going to go everywhere. If in your community there is someone who says they are collecting money on behalf of Finnish, which I've read a lot, Kenyans, Ghanaians, Nigerians, don't do that. Do not do that. You need to first be 100% sure. We'll see. Finnish government, they don't say you go and pay to someone mm -hmm. for your own living and your own expenses. I, I wish that mom will ask me this again so that guys I would do find this information because when it comes on helping both of us and my mom we like it's just that we like to help we like you guys to improve especially educationally Umanji is on that finance education and stuff the only issue we get so busy with other stuff sure. and then we kind of like forget even sure. now mom was saying even if how busy we are not we need to take this video, this video. out there and then now let's come on 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 if you want to find a man in europe or you want to do that guys men now are not like before you know i think i was like one of the luckiest ones to still find my ex-husband because he was a, a good man and uh, i was able also to we were in love that we wanted to push our love now you're gonna get scammers on the internet you know they say okay i'm a i'm an italian or i'm a finnish oh there's that thing i don't know what they are doing maybe they are cutting grass yeah please bear with us guys <laughs> it was so peaceful and it always happens when you wanna shoot a video the devil will then come in but i guess it's not the devil people yeah. are trying to work yes so um if you are finding on, on the dating site make sure you be the call whoever it is make sure that you call this person and another thing guys i will tell you european people now don't want to pay for your flight tickets to go to them they do not you know they are very smart if you should be a working person work for yourself get your own money and then you visit europe then you can find a european in person that's what i will tell you then saying what you want to look for a man you want to find a man in europe you want to they are the same as africans you know you get a good african sometimes you get a bad african you get True. a good man also in europe sometimes you get a bad man True. so don't sit there and be like oh i mean i want to find a man in europe i want to find a man like in europe. who knows yes you know? like me it was 2013 right True. now it's 2024 it's times long. have changed yeah times have changed and men don't want to pay anymore for, for, for anyone so now you can go on google and google maybe finish um uh finish jobs for foreigners on google uh how to find a job in finland you could be doing anything you can still find but also i encourage you to go and learn finnish language on the internet then it's much easier you can even apply when it comes on cvs also they want cvs in finnish language and when you are not in finland it's a problem another thing in finland guys it's very easy to to have a business however the problem is in in, in order to get there you need to find to get there now there's people also just say says valangi there's people who want to move there with their families at least have half a million then you can move to finland True. very easy if you have enough finances you can go to finland you have a financially situation ship not sheets then you can go to finland just have a half a million and you will never go anywhere if you do not try you will never do anything in your life if you do not try if right now you even have two hundred thousand with your family give it a shot you know apply you are looking for a job you know you can't speak finnish language but you are seeing what they need someone you know what you have experience you have give it a Try. shot wow. what i always say to myself i make a video sometimes i don't like the video but i would say let me post it anyway and then i say okay the video is doing so well and this never second guess yourself with anything try just put it out there you're looking for a scholarship you know what am i not qualified because i didn't part matric try it doesn't hurt to just 
try not on the finland every other places in europe oh other than that goodness, please you. like oh. please do subscribe and please do tell us on the comment section if you want to see more videos like this because even if we don't live together with mom we can still do interviews for you and uma is so good on these ones you know okay. now i love you thank you so much guys we're trying to cut the shorts because yeah the background noise is killing us but if you follow unonzi which i hope most of you do if you don't please go <coughs> on cooking with nonzi on all social media platforms and follow her you know she's based in finland proudly south african based in finland and finland is very cold so very if you suffer from sinuses you've got double arthritis think twice before you think <laughs> of moving to finland but you can survive and don't let mom scare you watch, sleep in there. watch her videos and get to understand their culture oh. learn as much as possible Mom. before you move one second wait you guys i know she was interviewing me but i'm gonna interview her yes. i nearly forgot yes. you were in finland yes. you went to france we, we went to sweden with mm. you we went to estonia. Uh, estonia all these european countries how did you get a visa Oh, should we do a different interview? Yes, let's do it different. Ha, huh, guys, I forgot. <laughs> Please stay tuned for part two because mom came to Europe last year. She's coming again I to Europe. So as a South African, I want to know all the details. How did she get there? How did she find a visa? Because it was not a struggle. Not it was one piece of paper that I sent her and then everything was good. <laughs> okay, here you go, guys. Bye. Can't we go together? I'm going to try and see. Oh. Okay, guys, let's, let's just love and leave you. And thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, darlings. Mm -hmm. We love you. God bless. Bye. Bye.